Hello there, welcome to another F-Zero livery recreation video with yourself Captain JJ. Last time around I did the Golden Fox which was pretty well received. Next up in the list is Zero Four which is the Iron Tiger. Now this um, livery gave me a few issues so what I'm doing here is a combination of the XGX livery and the livery in the anime series which by extension of GP Legend and Climax. So what I'm doing here is initially using the first slot to do the colours. So made my uh, done my colours. So now we're moving on to the first of the sections. So the anime version had the black section, which was a triangular section, which is going into the middle. So I'm going to be doing that part, and then using the uh, tiger livery to go on top of that. Tried the triangle section, and I realised it didn't quite work out. So what I'm doing here are uh, two um, long stretches, that's the first one and then they're going to be doing the second one in a second. Now there is an easy way of doing it which I discussed, uh, discussed, no that's not quite the way, but discovered uh, post editing. After this machine was completed I discovered an easier way of doing this so that will be implemented with the next machine which will be the fire stingray. So for now we are just going to carry on with the old method and making sure it uh, lines up correctly. Now looking back at this post edit it didn't quite line up in the middle which I didn't foresee at the time. But we're carrying on with this one. Now I'm trying to fill in the last uh, little section here because there is a gap. There's a bit of a gap in between two. So what I'm going to be doing here is making sure that gap doesn't exist. So I tried using the triangular section here, making sure it doesn't make sure it fits. So it doesn't quite fit. So what I'm going to have to do instead is use the uh, straight line so I can um, finish fitting it. Now I realised towards the end of this that that didn't quite work either. So a little bit down the line, I'm going to be showing you what will actually happen with this. So what I'm doing here is colouring black. You can't use any special colours or decals for reasons not known. So the normal colours shown on the colouring map are going to be used here. That It was at this point that I realised that the triangular was not going to work so I got rid of that. I try to wind the light. No, not wind the light. No, no. Yes, but now we're going to have to... No, yes, that's better. Do that and make sure it doesn't overlap. Uh, as you see, it doesn't quite, it doesn't overlap there. So what I'm going to do here is colour it in black, like so. So with that in mind, it's not quite lining up. So I'm going to have to move it down ever so slightly, so that it does. And now, if you notice, there's a little, there's a bit of a small area which needs to be f filled. So what I need to do here is do a triangle. I said do a triangle, 180 degrees. Shrink that to make sure it lines up with that section. No, 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 no. We're going a bit too far here. Yeah, straight. No, no. Yes, nearly, nearly. Try that. And now we're going to put that on that section. It's t tilted at 180 degrees. Uh, let's try and get it on, shall we? Please. We will eventually get there. Okay, we've got there now. So what we need to do is colour it in black. Hmm, this needs to go up to cover the yellow like so. Possibly it needs to be widened. There we go. And with that in mind, that is the downward shaping triangle shape of black done as shown in the anime. In the GX version, it's the opposite way around. It actually goes further down and towards the front. So what I'm doing here now is not adding a triangle. I realised that was an error, so all the bits wait until that point have been cut out. So what we're going to do here is add the tiger livery onto the front of the bonnet. Now it only extends to the bonnet because of the editing um, materials. So what we're doing is stretching it up to the top, up to the top. Let's not sing that one, JJ. We are not doing singing lessons. We are showing you how to make the Iron Tiger on Gran Turismo 7 here. So, 
realizing that it's not in the right place. I'm going to move this down. Uh, I'm going to move this down in the layering list because the higher up you are, the less the latest layers have priority over the uh, earlier slave uh, layers to overlap earlier layers. So what I did there was move that tiger skin to the bottom so that it doesn't override the triangle. So now what we're going to do is move on to the left hand side. First up, we're going to do with finding numbers. So if you can't, if you don't have an, uh, any any decals that you need, you can always go in the content search in the decal section to find what you're looking for. No, nope, not everything will be on there, but the vast majority of the stuff will be there. So all you need to do is just go in there, search and find. So what I did here was find the Super GT version of number four. And what I'm going to do is same as find zero, but when looking back at it, I already got it. Still didn't stop me from saving it now, so just make sure that's all good and nearly that there we go so what we need to do now is color the numbers in white to complete the number section and then we move on, on to the next part of that area like so now on the anime version the tiger section is on the side as well but uh, in the GXX version it's not and as I said earlier, I'm doing a combo version of XGX and anime. So this one is going on towards the bottom. It's the same, um, it's the same decor I used earlier on the bonnet. So I'm going to do exactly the same here. Uh, that's the wrong way. Get it down towards, get it down towards the bottom. Not too big. Shrink it a bit and then push to the bottom. There we go. That's better. Now it's not quite there. So we're going to, nope. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. Hey, I'm gonna need a stretch tonight. Anyway, that's, that, that doesn't go. 180? No, that doesn't work. Turn it around, turn it back. There we go. No. Yes, that's better. So that one is now done. And that's the tiger skin on the anime side, done on the left. So now we're gonna move on to a little bit further up to the right hand side. We're staying on the same side, the left side. So now we're gonna move beyond the back window. As in the anime version had four little rectangular shapes in that area, so we're going to do that now. So we're reducing the size to eight, and then we're going to change the angle, which is basically minus, well, it's 19 degrees here. So what I'm going to do now is just copy it over and do exactly the same as I did. So we're going to speed up the footage a little bit. So you don't waste, so we don't waste too much time. Uh, so I'm going to have to over-explain things all over again. And to be honest, that's not a good idea to over-explain things when you've done a good explanation beforehand or a reasonable one. Anyway, if you do, if you are enjoying this content so far, please sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified of all the videos that are released. This is a release, so keep posted. Back to the uh, video now, we are going to move on to the roof section. Now this gave me a little bit of a hassle, as in the, um, what you call it, the layering, because I've only got one layer, one successful layering, any other layering I tried to convert into SVG vector didn't work. Still need to learn on that part, because anything that comes out either comes out too small, ineligible, or it's just, um, doesn't want to be uploaded to Gran Turismo because it's not a vector. All things to learn about vector gra graphics, I suppose. So what I'm doing here is making sure it fits in the roof section, which it kind of is not doing. Okay, this is a bit of an issue. So I've got to, I've got to widen it, not narrow it. Widen it. No, I said widen. It needs to be widened a bit, not lengthened. And now we need to make sure it fits. Doesn't quite fit, but there you are. There we go. No, it's not covering the roof section. Come on. Wakey, wakey. Is that better? No. I, what I did there was accidentally press the right uh, control stick, which means I skewered it to... Um, fit the highest amount which was horizontal on that one so if you press that button it will make the decor exactly the same as the 
horizontal, which I didn't want there because the covenant is at over 300. And if it goes uh, too far, that, that makes it a little bit iffy. Yeah, it looks a bit overly stretched, if you ask me. It still looks a bit stretched now, if I'm being completely honest, but oh well. It's got to be done. Now, this was difficult. And as a result, I'm having to move these down a bit. Uh, make sure it's even. Make sure it's even. Hey, sheesh. Honestly, you can't take there. You can't get the staff nowadays. But now let's move on onto the other side now, shall we? We're going to do the right hand side, and it's basically the same principle. If we get there, that it is, it's the same principle as what I did on the left. So making sure these match up. There is an easier way of doing it, which was discovered post um, editing, which will be implemented in the next machine fire stingray and going forwards. But for now, we are going back to uh, these machines. Doing the numbers like so, that's the zero, and then doing it again. Making sure it's the same size as the other numbers because I haven't done the, the other method which I found out which is much easier. We're going to have to do it the old fashioned way. So we need to cover his white. I said colour and white, thank you. And again, and that side, and the number and the skin is now done. We've got to go back though and go to the... Um, roof section because I realized something's still not quite right here so back to my items again using the tiger skin what I'm going to do is extend it a little bit and also cover the monstrous black uh, hole which is also somewhere on there which is ugh. it doesn't look natural if you ask me <laughs> so we need to wi widen not lengthen yet no 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 not lengthen we need to widen because we're doing it on a 90 degree, we have to push the upwards up. Rather than length. We still need to push the width rather than the length here. Try 270. Still doesn't look 100% right to me. So what we're going to do is push it up. Making sure it lines up with what I've done earlier. And we are now going to try and like not lengthen it no you're going the wrong way no 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 no. that looks too far stretched push it back to where it was there we go what we need to do is widen it we need to widen it now all right we're trying the other angle first yeah that looks better so what we need to do now is widen it like so so what i'm going to do here is push this up Make sure it's all lined up as well with the other uh, liver which I did. And now's a good time, I think, to push it up as well. I think that's a not quite right. That's not quite right here, I don't think. That looks better to me. Well, I think it does anyway. Well, it does look better now. So what I'm going to do at this stage is to change the layering priority. So what I'm going to do here is change, is to move that top layer towards the bottom so that the top layer doesn't override it now. Like so. There we go. And so that layer is now making sure it blends properly down the roof section. While also while that was all going on, I realised something wasn't quite right with the left hand side. The right hand side. No, no, no. We've already done that side. We need to move to the right hand side again, please. Thank you. And we need to put the four little rectangular sections that we did on the left hand side on the right. There is an easy way to do this, which I've previously mentioned, which will be implemented in the next video. But for now, we're going to do the copy and paste. For now, we're going to do the uh, paste job again. Making sure it's all lined up. Oh dear me. There's definitely a sign of dehydration. So what we're doing here is doing duplications of the rectangular shapes. Like so. And with that... The right hand side is now done. Now on GX, the rear wing is a grey colour. In the anime, it's, it's the same colour as the rest of the machine. Now as I'm doing a combo version, I'm going to put this rear wing into the grey area. And also when I did this method, you can't cover the bottom of the rear wing. So 
no matter how many times I tried, I just couldn't get the bottom done. So we can only do the top section. No special colours can be used on decals. So we're just going to have to go for the standard grey. So I check round the back. You can't colour that bottom part in, unfortunately. So it's just going to have to be left there. Just left like that. And no matter how hard I tried, I tried widening it and lengthening it. It just wouldn't work. Which is unfortunate, but these things, well, they can happen. Like so. So with that in mind, the rear wing's done. Now I realise at this point that the colour wasn't quite correct either. You know, black doesn't work. No, those colours don't work. So what I'm going to do is go to a special colour and change the colour to the Astra Blue. Because the Iron Tiger does have a blue one. No, that's too light a blue. That's too light a blue, matey. That's too dark. Yeah, that's the colour. Yeah, that looks right. So we've got to colour that machine in that colour. Astra Blue. The uh, Iron Tiger does have a greyish blue. Yeah, that's not right. Do the whole thing. There we go. The whole thing's now done. Didn't think it would be done though, so that's why we're going back again. When I realized it was, we move forward. So this is what the machine looks like in this color with the tiger implants on the roof, bonnet and sides. With the four rectangular shapes on either side as well. Now there is going to be a change to that. But which I'll show you not in this next clip, but the clip after that. And then I'll be showing the final product. So let's save this machine as Iron Tiger F0. That's our fourth F0 machine created. Hated so far. We're doing 30 on the X you know, on the X side, then we've got the X machines, and then we will do more than likely the GP Legend Climax ones. Now this is what it looked like after the original um, paint job, which we've shown you, I've shown you. But there were a few change. There were a couple of changes which I made, which are both related to the sides, as I realised that the prints on the side looked a bit blotchy, looked a bit tacky. So we're just going to skip over to the next clip and show you the edits of what I did. So there you go. Now the edits were done on the bottom. Did the duplication method, so it looked absolutely identical on either side, and in all, in general, it does look a little bit better. Now what it does, but this machine was tough because I couldn't quite get the right SVGs and the conversion rate to um, get it done. But we got it done to a reasonable standard. If you enjoyed this F Zero uh, recreation livery video, please do leave a like, subscribe, comment, share the video. Make sure it goes all the way around the internet as it keeps the series going. Next up on this will be Fire Stingray. I will be returning for Gran Turismo next week. Got some more Mario Kart stuff, and until then, it's goodbye from me.